So what do you do if you have a logarithm with a different base instead of e? If you have log base e, that's the natural log. That's what you see when you see ln. Okay, um, <clears throat> this one is the common log. It has log base 10. It's just kind of funny because normally you don't see the base 10. Like, you, like they would just write log. Okay, so if you ever see a logarithm with just nothing, then you know it's a base 10 because that's the common log. So, how do we do it? Well, if you guys recall, can recall, if we had a log base, um, we'll say x of a, and you wanted to change it, uh, you can use the change of base ratio. And there's two change of base ratios. There's log of a divided by log of x, and there's the one that we're going to use, natural log of a divided by natural log of x. So let me try that with some numbers. If I had log base, I'm just making up numbers, 5 of 2, then this would be, let's just do the natural log. It would be natural log of 2 divided by natural log of 5. So um, I want, want, want you guys try to change this with the change of base ratio and see what you get. Go. Okay, that's enough time. Now we had the, denom or the derivative of the natural log. Which one's on top? Natural log of x or 10? X. Yeah, the x is on top, and then natural log of 10 is on the bottom. Okay, can we take the derivative of that? Now, <clears throat> notice what, what, which part has the x, just the top part. We could technically take out, because we're allowed to, we could take out 1 over natural log of 10, and then we're left with see, it would be, um, times natural log of x. We're just kind of manipulating it to make it look like something more doable. We can take this guy and take him out of the derivative right here and just take the derivative of that. Which looks actually way more simple when you see that manipulation that you can do. So let me rewrite it one more time. We have 1 over natural log of 10. How come you're allowed to do that? Because this has no x with him. So that's, you can kind of look at him like he's a constant. He has no x with him. He is not going to change. So we could take him out, and then we're going to take the derivative of just the natural log of x. And so what's the derivative of the natural log of x? 1 over x. Okay, so this is, um, this right here is going to be 1 over x. So what is um, this times 1 over x? Well, we have 1 on top, then we have x times the natural log of 10.